and push your elbow back into mine. Perfect. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> this is worse than the rib thing. New thing. This is like. Cause see, oh it wants God. to. Oh it my wants God. to. It wants to go down. Okay. Are you kidding? Can you see that. Explain to me all over again <laughs> for our viewers. I'm in so much pain. Oh, so you've driven all the way up from Miami. Where are you feeling your pain? I feel it here, so I'm like kind of like rubbing here, and it goes all the way to the front of my knee. To your knee. To then to the like ends of my feet. If, if I can tell you, it's like all my right ends, okay. my sides. And then it, nothing on the left. Nothing on the left. And except when you sleep. Except when I sleep in my neck. She's been waking up with. Numbness in both hands. both hands, and that's what's like. So no, nothing in particular in one finger. No, it's always the, the tips. It's the tips, but all of them the same. Mm -hmm. Now the fact that you pointed, I'm gonna speak really fast. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. When you when you pointed like this, when somebody does that, yeah, that's that right. is L3. Okay. okay. Then you said to the outside of your leg, L4, L3 to the knee, L4 to the floor. Correct. Looked at your X-rays. It was L. It was actually L5 S1, which is a lower segment. She has a hyperextension of L5 and S1. So her tailbone is very prominent. It will feel more prominent. That's the ridge of your, of your SI joint right here. I have no idea. You feel how it goes all the way down? Yeah. Okay, I know you're like, ow. No, I just want to like go in. I, well, we will, trust me. <laughs> and you're saying you notice a dent on this side this versus side. this. Yeah, right I now. do see that. So that might be a little bit of atrophy. Okay. I do feel it. I feel like I've had it like for my whole life almost. For your whole life? Yeah. And I asked her if she had any accidents or injuries yeah. and she said no, because sometimes it could be an avulsion where it tears off the hip and it kind of shrivels up, but it could be just atrophy as well, meaning you don't have the tone to this muscle anymore. Okay. And you're losing the muscle strength. All right, on your back face up. I'm going to do my best. All right. Got some challenge today. <sighs> And she gets, how often do you go to the chiropractor? Um, twice a week. Good for you. When it's bad. If not, I'll go like a once a month. Okay. Yeah, once a month is maintenance. A little maintenance. Tuned up, yeah. Yeah, perfect. But she still hasn't been able to get rid of this sciatica. And you've had deep tissue work done. Yeah. All kinds of... All kinds. So I think, I asked her if anybody had dealt with her posture. And that seems to be the one thing that we haven't done, that nobody's ever really addressed. So that might be all I find. I never know. It's like opening up <laughs> a I Pandora's wait. box. You never, <laughs> it might be nothing in there. It's like Minecraft, Linnea. You could find a lot of things. You could find nothing. Take it to a little bit of extension, lateral flexion. Ooh, good range of motion. Yeah? Yeah, middle of your neck, not so much. Better. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the parts that are owies, those little parts that are swollen. Mm -hmm. That's hypermobile. So, so even though you have a right atlas laterality and posterior, so that means the top bone in your neck goes this way and it rotates backwards like that. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go that way. <laughs> okay, I gotta go opposite. The thing is that the left side of your neck, maybe you slept wrong. Did you sleep with your head over? You don't like that? Yeah, well, I slept on my stomach for sure. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? Sore, right? Yeah. Now watch, even though this is out over here, out. No, where did it go? It's right here. <laughs> or misaligned. Look, is that as sore? No, which is weird because I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so I just sit here and play around. It's like a different sore. Like tinker toy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Well, what's she got? What's she got? Yeah, that didn't like you. No. Now, it looks so relaxing on the video. So relaxing. But it's not, okay? <laughs> I just want to make sure I relax. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh. This isn't massage therapy. This okay. is joint mobilization. So it helps, but it's not necessary. Okay. okay. You'll, we will work together. Even though I'm not looking at you, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm listening to what you tell me, okay? okay. Some numbness can come from the neck. Area. Oh, absolutely. That's the primary source. Okay. Primary, secondary, tertiary. Okay. Fourth. Yeah. Fifth. <laughs> you could have fifth, 
six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. <laughs> I'm six through nine. That's me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Eight and nine. <laughs> okay, so you can have... So I have to make sure I go through each one. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now your leg is huge. It's so nice. And then you get to build something. Anything from up here is like yeah, really complicated. And I got to go through. So I'm sorry. For you, it's going to be a little boring because you're going to watch me like go through each one. So sometimes I just thought like it's going to take me a while. <laughs> so that's my point. See, there's nothing. I expect to find it here because of the way the bone is shifted. Maybe that's from the chiropractic work. You know, they've cleaned out this side. I mean, I can always press harder. Yeah, you can go in there. Yeah, but this side, same pressure. Which side's more painful? I don't know. It's not really pain. Okay. Um, tender? No, 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 yeah. yeah, fixated on the left. Fascinating. It's interesting to see, to play around with something that somebody's already been there. Is it? <laughs> like, that's so up right wrong. There. That's no, 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 no. It's just like, yeah, it's like, right. it's it been, more tender on the left. it's yeah. been cleaned out, you know, to a certain extent. And they've really worked hard on your right side. Because that's where your complaint is. Yeah, for sure. It must be. I make them. Right, so, but do you understand how... This, don't forget the left side. Yeah. Because if you only work on one side, you can push something so far over, it creates problems. Okay. And if you're going twice a week, when you're in pain, we don't, we don't move miles, but we, we move a little, 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 little. Mm -hmm. Okay, and each time you come in here, it's a judgment call on the physician's point of view. You understand? If, sure. he, if he's used to seeing you and, you and he's used to doing one thing on you. No, I made him do one move the other day and he's like, I, I'm never again going to do when one listen he, to you. Well, you try to kind of please your patients. Okay, yeah, you is. try. Yeah, she's all over here on the left because this is a learning experience for Lenny. I don't know if she'll ever become a chiropractor if that's what she wants to do, but Oof. you can see. Where, what, very interesting. And I wiggle because I want the joint to move. Okay. It's like a chain that you want. I don't want one little piece of the chain to not move. I want gotcha. the whole thing. I want all those segments to go. And then we pull down, get the yeah, T1 out of the way. I, that's what I want. <laughs> well, this is the baby, this is the warm up. <laughs> okay. Warm up, I see what it wants to do. Here's T1 rib. It's always surprised, but your rib. If you give me your x-ray, let, let you don't mind me showing no. a little bit of your x-ray? Can you grab it? Where? There, here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's her T1 rib. People, this is her clavicle here. This is the collarbone right here on her. But T1, does she have any extra ribs? Sometimes we count them. Sometimes people do. I, you might, yeah, you have Come a on. tiny little bit of a, it's hard so to see, <laughs> but see, here's her C7 rib, and it kind of, just a little tiny lip of it goes past the TP of T1. I don't know if you could classify that as a rib. Ooh, but, no, no. Wait, I got I, I, it's very hard to see on Can this one. Can you count it on me? What do you I'm mean? trying. <laughs> I'm freaked out. No, 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 you're fine. Is that the only, that's the only thoracic one like we her. have? Well, that's the only thoracic wow. one we have. And I can't, oh, maybe from here we can tell. I can't see on the lateral. I can't see on the lateral. Ooh. Palms interarticularis. Definitely that laterality with the atlas, though. Yeah. It's riding high as well. Can you, I don't know. So anyway. Here is her T. I think she has a little, she might have a little bit of a cervical rib. And that might explain a little bit more of why you're going numb. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Wow. I, I think I'd need another retake on it. Mm -hmm. But I can barely see it. I think it's really, it could just be a shadow. You know, I need more clarification. Can you see that, Linnea? Go a little closer. Here, can you? Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. Okay. So if I zoom in. There's like a little bit of a lip on the oh, yeah. left hand side over here that goes She's past oh, yeah. this. Okay, here's the TP, and it's in the shadow, but the TP of the one above it goes a little bit further mm -hmm. past. Yeah, it's like a little, like a fingertip. Just a fingertip, and it's a little bit over here too. 
worse on your uh, left side. There's the marker not on the right. But definitely, I'm not sure. This could be a shadow. So I need a retake. But definitely here on the right. Interesting. Okay, so let, let me show you. Yeah. Let me show you. So here you go. They kind of look like bat wings. Here's your first ribs right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all normal. Okay. Yeah, I see. So when I'm here, I'm pushing on that rib way up here, this itty bitty one. Yeah. See, we think ribs are all these yeah, big ones, yeah. but you got That's a tiny, shocking. tiny little one right here. Whoa. Can you see it? Yeah, I see I it. I can try to like point it. It's, oh, no, see, I see it. It comes here? Yeah. No, 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 no. Now, what I'm worried about is not that, it's the one above it. That? Yes. Whoa. Okay, do you see how it comes out past mm -hmm. this one? Yeah. But when you see that, you start thinking, hmm, you know, or is it going down into our arms? Okay. All so right. you might just be made that way. Now, a lot of people have, it's very common to have prominent TPs on C7. Okay. So, anyway, I always geek out with stuff like that. That's wild. Ooh, that's cool. ooh, teaching moment. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Something different. I love it. Back here, here we go. There's a little one. There you go. That's all it's in. Here we go, here's the left. Back, chin back for me. Got you. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to get any more, but yeah, it's closed. Right here. Nope, that's all it's going to go. Very good. Very good. You okay? Leg hurting? No, I just want to, like, you know, just want to get to it. My That? Okay, <laughs> okay, I can get there. That's where we're going next. Very good. Ankle. This is the one I sprained once. Okay. I had a cast on my right ankle. I'll be careful with the ankle then. Good. This one is a little bit stuck. You're, I've got you. You're not going to go anywhere. Just very gently. See how much the ankle can handle. Got you. Now you're going to reach over and just grab the back of this. Like, uh, scoot yourself down a little bit towards me. Right there. And then hold on to the table itself. Gotcha. There you go. I am going to pull traction a little bit. Hopefully, I know this is the side that's bad. Let's do the good one. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's it. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. Now let's do this one. That's amazing. Gotcha. What is that? Hip socket. Wow. Okay, I gotta check. They feel even. That was awesome. That's so fine. A little bit there. Yeah. You're like, oh shoot. It's going too soon. <laughs> no, it's just a little bit out of place. No, no um, so it's okay, no crepitus. No um, joint uh, arthritis. Okay. So more poppy clicky, you understand, on this side. What? Yeah. And I didn't expect that. I thought this was going to be it. Me too. Wow. <laughs> Left short. Let me see this thing. I know you're like, get to it, get to it. And that's what happens. Oh, it's your sacrum. No, you no falls or injuries, eh? Uh -uh. All right, lift this leg up, down, and then this one, down. So much more range of motion on this side. Right deviated sacral apex. No, nope, it's left short. Go long, and then I take it past ninety. You know, take it to ninety, even take it past ninety. It goes long. And I see this curvature here. Okay. Okay. No pain when I press in here? Sore. Okay, let's take it T12 pain. No. L1? No. L2? Huh. L3? A little. L4? No. No? Okay. L5? Mm-mm. So right at L3. 
That is your worst one. Remember I said L3 to the knee? You did say that. L4 to the four. I thought maybe L4. Okay, so the tenderness is right where it's matching. That's all I care about. That's wild. So now I don't need imaging at this point from from you, like more advanced, if it matches. Okay. When it doesn't match, when it's something's off, Mm -hmm. then I go, okay. Yeah. Let's go. And nothing's getting better. Let's go get some. Oh, ticklish? A little. Yeah, look at that right here. (laughs) Now that one I just want to pop. You got about three ribs out of place here. You ready? Yep. Deep breath in. Let's get it going. All the way out. Good. Oh, tight. You have a right lateral curvature here. I can see it like from far away. (laughs) No one's ever done it. All right, here we go. Because you're going to figure it out in a second that this is where you need it. And you've had that dent your whole life, you Mm -hmm, feel like? mm -hmm. Like before chiropractic, before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at that. There's T1. Yeah. Hold that down. This will get rid of the numbness in your arms. Ow. This one is just straight oh, P to A. There we go. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> Good. Deep breath in. All the way out. There's a little bit of torque here. Perfect. Excellent. Same thing. Okay, I spoke too soon. Breathe. This one had to be more. Oh, God, okay. This one. It's still on the right, the whole way down. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Oh. Right, 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 and then boop, left. See, I... It's funny, I'm like numb a little. And your fingers? Yeah. Then bring them back then. Bring them back then. How about now? No, no. Not there? No. Okay, then we just can't go forward anymore. Really? It's all right. Oh, wants to go this way. Aha. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I'm a complicated one. Well, they just, once you clear out one level, one, I'm going to hit your arm. Oh, good. Oh. It was How, when you rolled it here that it went numb. Oh. Yeah. Well, head bone connected to the, <laughs> it's connected. <laughs> here we go. This one. Okay. So you have this sacral apex, the, your coccyx basically here is jammed right here. Very common. 80% of the population, this is so common, like you have it, Linnea, I have it, we all have it. When the sacral apex is deviates to the right, it jams at the superior part of the left side and the right bottom part of the SI joint, because remember the SI joint is from here to here. Yeah. So it jams at the top, it's like a little keystone, a little triangular piece, okay? And then yours is popped out this way, so it's even more prominent here, and like almost like a dent yeah. on this side. Yeah. Do you think that's because we sit? No, we, we are made that way when we start to walk. Now, sitting makes it worse. Do you understand? But little babies, Lachlan, Lachlan has it. If you ask Lachlan to raise one leg up, his right leg is going to go way higher than his left. I know, it sucks. It's human. human. So I was, I was joking. I said maybe Adam and Eve, God cursed us with subluxations <laughs> and shortened our lifespans. <laughs> I don't know, he lived pretty long, so I guess there wasn't so much to subluxation. <laughs> oh, look at that. So it's over here on the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Can you handle more than this roller? For sure. Wait, let, let's go. Look at that. Now that's, that's a variant of normal because she has a huge knot on the base. Of her, of her, okay, here's the, the um, SI joint. It's at the inferior portion 
right here. Okay? Oh, yeah. And now we can have the arms back. I won't hit you. So you understand I'm right here on this. Now you have to be careful. Sacral notches here. Sciatic nerve exits here. So you don't want to hold a hard, firm pressure here. You risk hitting the sciatic nerve and injuring it. So keep moving. This is not a tutorial. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> but I'm just saying for you, because you're going to go, oh, I got this video, and you know what? I'm going to do exactly what she does. <laughs> no one's touched this on me. Yeah, no, no, no. But keep moving. Keep moving. Here's the hell at this left side. How far does it go? Now let's check the right. See, I'm not finding much of anything over here. It's wild. I mean, yeah, that's probably sore, but I'm not finding a knot. That's just your bone. How about a little higher? No, nothing. Well, I can pick at it with the... There's nothing. You see me? I'm demanding. It's so bad. I mean, we can try, no, but no, no. I don't mind checking. No, but see, that's still just meant just the subluxation. Okay. And this, it can. When I go to adjust it, I'm going to pull this off the nerve. Okay. It is going to jam that nerve a little bit, because remember, the sciatic mm -hmm. nerve exits there, for sure. But is it the really the root of your problem? No, it's higher. You're right. No. You're right. It was in the top. Yeah, no. no. This is all clean. Somebody's been in here and smoothed this out. Okay. I don't feel a thing. Okay. Without me pointing, would you would you be able to feel where I'm where you would want to yeah. work? Yeah, if you said nothing. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I can see it. Really? Look at this thing. Yeah. Why do you think I went there to begin with? Oh, that scares me. Because <laughs> I can see it. I'm scared of that. Can you see it? Can you see it? When I start scraping her, you'll really see yeah. it. Really? Can you see that this is so much more prominent than this that? side? Yeah, the right side is much higher than the left side. Like yes. If, if you're looking at a, basically a field, you would say really? the right side is more of a mountain and the bottom is more of a valley. Wow. Okay, so yeah. who cares? You fix know. the stuff that you got to fix. The rest, it will take care of itself. Okay. All right. That's a really hard thing, especially when you're in agony and you're in pain. For sure, yeah. It's yeah. very hard to understand that concept. So here we go, we're gonna do it. So shirt off for me. I always have to cut that power out because my subscribers are like, you should have asked nicely. I didn't even know you were talking to me. <laughs> I'm like, shirt off. I'm ready. <laughs> it's it's funny, it. even going like this now I feel it here. Well, I did kind of like yeah. put energy into that system down there and now you're aware I of it. I didn't know. <laughs> Only on the foam roller I felt it once. It's just from here to here. And then it's, then yeah, here's the sacrum that's starting to pop out. Right there. No plans for future kids? I mean, I'd love some. <laughs> You'd be like a great candidate. <laughs> like you have, everything's like ready to go. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm Sacrum's ready. Sacrum's popped out. I'm this ready. Like, be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, why did you say that to somebody? Like, I don't know. No, like, no, I'm, I'm at the age. We're good. I, I saw. The x ray, I was like, she got no problem. That's amazing. Love That's it. terrible. Oh. I got four kids, so those you are made the things my I day. think of. No, that made my day. Because sometimes I tell them, I'm like know, worried. I'm 34. I'm scared. 34? That's what they say. Like, you want to oh. raise your ex. I'm like, what? Not at 34. 42, mm. maybe, yeah. I'm just like, no more babies. No more babies. Mm. <laughs> I got four already. Yeah, but. I want four. You'll have one and quickly change your mind. Yeah. You were like three. <laughs> mm. Love it, love it too. <laughs> <laughs> Play like with it's, someone. It's got to I need a free babysitter. Oh, yeah. No parents? Oh. That's what the oldest one That's, That's what you train the oldest one to do. Yeah. I don't know. Where do you want? I don't know. I'm going to be right here. Hello? And then I got to go up here. She's not too bad. She's had some work done here. But this is like. This yeah. is new territory. Mm. Push them down. Push those ribs down. If you need a break, you tell me, okay? okay. At some point, you're going to be like, I'm done. Done, done, done. And that's all we can do. Perfect. Onto 
this whole piece of rib cage. Push it down. Oh, I'm gonna stay here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. There's one joint, and then down to T6. One, two, three, four, five. That's all you can take. Usually I go to 10, but it's about tapped out. One. Ooh, these are feeling better. Faye. Yeah. Better, better. Yeah. Okay, now it's no longer here, it's here. Yeah. This is the first original culprit that I saw. Ooh. You understand that when I put pressure on this, now you're straight. It's amazing. So all of that. Went, yeah. When I let off, it bounces right back out. So it's going to take compression and extension to fix this. Yeah, I want over you to a do that. Long part, but it's going to take a, you're going to do it yeah. over a long period of time. I've got a big camera, lots of gigabytes now. We don't have to transfer files in the middle of treatment. Oh, yeah. The camera's great. I'm jealous. It was worth it. This is 500 and something gigabytes. That's the highest one they had. Ooh. Okay, okay. Is it... let's, do, let's, let's do something else. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's not. Okay, hold on, it shouldn't be that painful. Come on. Yeah. Not as bad. Mm -mm. It's just something catches and it decides to catch. It's like, no, 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 go, 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 go. It's like new for me, too. Friends. I'm always here, man. I'm nowhere up there. Wow. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing for me to work on over here. It's wild. I would be here if there was something. Yeah. But I don't feel anything. It's been cleared out by somebody else. You have a ton of edema. Oh, it's like pitting edema. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. It's all right. In your mid back. Okay. All right. Let's do. Let's do something else. Nothing. You're clear over here. So everybody thinks that it's so relaxing. Like, no, really, it's this communication that we have going on. We're working through it. You can go hard there. <laughs> just, just, just let me, <laughs> let me do my job. <laughs> let me say nothing. <laughs> it's called me feeling. Okay, you got a little problem here. Yeah. And when you first go over it, you're just hitting edema, swelling. Okay. So you're like, okay, where is it? Where is it? You don't want me to just use my elbow on the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah. How about ice or heat? Which one? Ice. Okay. Uh, do not place a heating pad here. I do, I do. You will make it worse because oh heat God. brings inflammation, inflammation oh. leads to pain. You can, it feels good for the first five minutes and then you're like, why is it not, why is it not it working. working anymore? <laughs> it work. Because eventually fluid comes in there. Yeah, you got a little problem here. All right. Right here and push. Here we go. I can feel your tall, you know, how far I can take you. Hello, here we go, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I want you to do that. Hold on, That's hold funny. on, hold on. I didn't know. You didn't know you wanted it until it was Yeah, there. it's like a loose tooth. It's like itchy, achy. <laughs> This will make, this will take care of half of her pain. Great. Just getting her shoulders. It's I'm amazing. talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, this, yeah. this is amazing. Just push the ribs down. And then it sinks down, I reach bottom. I can breathe better, oh my God. Then we go down to the next one. So you're essentially doing the same thing you're doing with the green roller except with your elbow. I'm being more picky. All right, more focused. More, yes. Yeah. That's why it's a balancing act. Every uh, every muscle of my arm is on it's, fire it's right thin, now. It's pushing down, but like it's more concentrated. You, to push it here, I would jam it. I got it. The neck, 
jams. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta oh, yeah. pushing. She's getting down it. Oh yeah. Towards the feet as opposed to down to the neck. Got it. I get it. Wow, this is amazing. Then I kinda play with it, wiggle it a little bit. You get a massage it while you're doing it, I get it. Well, not a massage. Like, it's like wiggling it back and forth into plate. I am literally taking her rib, which is that sitting at an angle like this. I am breathing and better. And trying to wow. <coughs> get it to go back. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, no. So people think, oh, I'm taking the muscles. There are points like this where I will do the muscles. But the whole focus is to get this to move. Okay. So sometimes if I go in here and I'm doing, like, wow, she's got some congestion here on the left. Okay? Because that will free up the scapula. The scapula articulates with what? The shoulder, which right. articulates with what? The rib. So we got to go all the way around yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, it's all, inter it's all interconnected. So. That's right. And then we get down to this. I'm scared. And do, <laughs> I'm not going to go there again. I've left my marks already, so I know exactly where I was. I'm going to go right above it. Right? Ooh, ooh, okay. Owie. <sighs> Breathe around it. Breathe like around it. Pop the left side out. That's it. Open up the left. The rib cage can handle a lot. Very, very, you can, they can handle a lot. Now, if somebody with osteoporosis, no. <laughs> grandma comes in, we don't do this on <laughs> grandma, okay? 33-year-old, <laughs> okay, with no history of osteopenia, should be just fine. You, when I adjust it like this, you can almost tell. I've seen bones where you can see through them. Wow. But that's not enough to freak you out. That's crazy. And here I am, doing this to you guys. Never broken anyone's bone. Well, that's good to know. You never got knock on a piece of wood somewhere. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know what's worse. That's wild. Well, just nobody's been here. Yeah. So anyway, I think you kinda understand it. Yeah. It's getting a little raw, so I'm gonna bring the shoulder down for me. Ooh. Where's my star? Finding those rough edges. <laughs> Get it. Do it. She's like, put your shoulder down. I'm like, I can't. As far as it goes. <laughs> For now. For now. <laughs> Give me a minute here. <laughs> this is so fun. Creating a path. Now let's see if we can lower it. <laughs> By Minecraft and everything. Because it is life itself. One block at a time. <laughs> right, one block equals one meter. Something like that. Very good. That's like everybody's favorite part, but. I was wondering what it looked like. Yeah. Go ahead, test it out. It looks the same. Really? <laughs> Stupid iPhone, expensive iPhone. <laughs> no, but mine more has more like fleshy tones, color. This one's just gray and white. Really? I mean, this one has like more brightness. This one has more like color. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see it. I zoom Oh, you in. still see plenty of red. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> as long as red shows up, we're fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh. No, this doesn't hurt no, too much, right? Not okay. at all. Because here it comes. Oh, wow. Really? Because I don't feel any pain. <laughs> He's like, how does this not hurt you? At all. Jeez. Really? It's coming. I can see it. It's going to happen. <laughs> and ready? I can't see your face. I see your toes, and I'm like, she's excited. <laughs> We'll take a bit. I mean, so because this video won't get out for a little while, so it's amazing till Halloween time. Might as well, take, you can take. We're filming. You might as well too. There you go. Ooh, found another one. 
Maybe I feel this side more. It doesn't hurt though. Oh, see, there's a rib right there. You want to see the rib? This is fun. You remember that rib the whole time I was talking about? Mm -hmm. It's inflamed the whole way down. Just one? Just one. Well, maybe a little bit of the second one. You want it to come out. You don't want it to be in there. Then it'll slowly dissolve over the course of a few days. And you'll feel better way before the petechiae goes away. Hopefully. Cross our fingers. <laughs> Found another little treasure box over here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sorry. Hit your bone. I try to aim you know, around it. But there's a little catch right there. Arm behind your back. There you go. Now you can get a little bit under it. This might be more painful than the this scraper. Is, I don't feel it at all. Okay, good. At all. Come on. Okay. Am I annoying? I'm sorry. Along the um, spine of the scapula, there will be a little bit more petechia. That is a higher spot. Okay, arm back, arm down for me. There you go. Nothing. <laughs> I'm trying. Let's see. Maybe, maybe a tiny one right here. No. Do you want it? If the, I feel a little problem here, but me too. But like nothing is really coming out, so it must be as deep. We can do it. Oh, I've already done it. It's just this. It's just not nothing superficial. Okay, the superficial is um, over here, which is where I'm going to now. Linda. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh God. It's super hot. Super. Not until you put your arm on me did I feel the heat. That's funny. It's just like, oh. Wow, yeah. But that's what you want. Yeah. I'm going to try the lower rib just to see if I got all the way to the end of it, you know. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit. A little. Even below the one that's bad. You wonder why you have sciatica. It's from the top? <laughs> yeah, look at all so this. So shocked. But this is right where they were saying. They were trying to tell you they that. Were, they were. It's just now you have visual proof. <laughs> you can see it coming through the skin. This is old school stuff. Yeah. It's a very old technique. They used it in the old days to get out fevers because they thought about that, that coldness brought sickness. So this would bring in blood and remove the wind or the coldness from you. Oh, a little bit over here. Uh, I think that's where they've been. Let's check the side that they haven't been in. Oh, let's put some more oil down. Oh, see, okay, so on the left side, you've got plenty of it. Tuck your zoomed out. I mean, you can zoom in. Yeah. Have it right Go ahead, show off my scars. Let's do it. I was going to say, you have to show it. Okay, now I finally... I'll stop. Hold on. She's getting her position. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. I find them and then I pull them through. That's all it's got. And there's no way to... There's no um, double-blind peer-reviewed studies on it, but... The proof is, is that your patient gets off the table and they say, they feel so much better. <laughs> what, they, what the studies have shown just brings in a tremendous amount of blood flow into areas like this with scar tissue that don't necessarily get proper blood flow. Mm, that's about it. You survived. Let me find it first. Yeah, there's that jam segment right there. Oh, come on, that's it. Good. Perfect. Other side. 
Wow. Now head though goes back. I'm gonna hold this part and bring it back. There you go. Now I got a good grip on it. Perfect. <laughs> I like it when it moves like that. That's amazing. <laughs> on your back. Press out against my hands. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get one side. I believe this is your worst side, so here we go. Squeeze. Again, sweet. Perfect. I heard that. What? <laughs> no comment. Okay, you start doing this with me. <laughs> and push your elbow back into mine. Perfect. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> what? Other side. Then your elbow is going to press back. Back. Yeah, no, it's fine. Healthy. Good. If it doesn't need to be set, it doesn't need to be set. Okay. It's all my left side. I can hear like my right. This that hurts me. Not hurts. I want to. I want to crack that always. You know what I mean? Look at my pinky. Is that weird? Oh, it won't lay flat. Yeah. Okay, so there's an over contracture. Oh. Yeah, okay. you have an over contracture of this tendon. I forget what it, what the name is. Yeah, that, that's. That's why you feel like you need to move it. Okay. Like. So. You're straight, and then here it's kind of like. You had to have hurt that when you were little. Uh uh. Not does your, does a parent have it? No. Then you need to relax this part here, right? Yeah, you knew. I, oh, I'm going to try. It's the abductor digitorum profundus, I believe. Look that oh, one you up. You get that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to spell that. Abductor. <laughs> so, you, so it should be straight, you think? Yes. Yeah, I feel like maybe. I don't feel any breaks, though. No. Just something happened where this all crunched. For sure. Abductor muscle? in the hand. It's either profundus or brevis or it's one of those. It's mm -hmm. yeah. wild. But yeah, you just gotta stretch it. It's yeah. How am I gonna be cool now? <laughs> Are you straightening it out? Yes. There oh, we go. That's wild. Abductor digit digitorum minimi? Maybe. I'm not seeing the right one, but oh, hold on, no, hold on. We'll just call it the abductor digitorum. So it's a muscle minimum. that's that's that's. Stuck? I see. I think it's a piece of fascia, but wow. you see how here's the pinky. When you go on that side. It, on the it, side, okay. Yeah, here's the bone where it's connected. You see that? Yeah. Here? And here's the whole muscle that goes all the way down to here. Yeah. All right. So abductor digiti minima. All right. See, I thought it was polysis proof. This one here. Flexor polysis. Yeah, but but I guess it makes sense. Well, yeah, because it, see, it's like that. Is that, is that weird? So it's one of them. Regardless, it's wild. They, they'd have to take, but you know, you could probably have surgery on it and have it released, but if it's not like. Wait, it's like a tendon? Yeah, kind oh, of. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. But then you might lose function of I your don't pinky, on so I, I, just I just say only do it if you feel like it's necessary, okay? Mm -hmm. Like if it gives you pain, you can go into here and try to elongate wow. them all, yeah, okay? That feels great. Now, whether it's going to fix, well, temporarily. For one second, it did. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. For one you split second, and I saw it. I knew me. It. <laughs> it was only for one second. So you have to work on it a lot. Your new. This is worse than the rib thing. New thing. This is like. Cause see, oh it my wants God. to. Oh it my wants God. to. It wants to go down. Okay. Are you kidding? Can you see that? I know it's so weird. It's not weird. It's no, just, it's, it's just sh I, I but got you can you can get it to go straight. You just have to elongate it. Oh my god! And it, it yes, <laughs> you're capable of it. Okay, I wasn't before. I couldn't even do that. Not at all. Look, no, 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 not at all. No, if, if you don't practice, it'll keep wow. wanting to come back up. It's just something got injured or whacked, and the body went. Wow. I don't like that. I got torn it? and it yeah. protected it. Yeah. Wow. So you just, you're old enough now. Fix that thing. That's a, <laughs> I'm shocked right now. Well, you can All right. If you want a straight pinky or a curved pinky. As long as the bones aren't broken. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. Then like, you're fine. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, um, I had a guy come in and his pinky was all mangled, but it was broken and it happened yes. when he was little. And, you know, mm -hmm. unless he had it rebroken, you can't fix that. It's not worth it at that point. It's not painful. Just leave it alone. 
There's a little bit of crepitus. Oh, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. A little that. bit of crepitus. So there's a little bit of arthritis coming along with it. So make sure you do work on that, it. Yeah, that feels great. That feels great. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I'm, Look I, at that. I see. <laughs> You're so funny. It's not a magic trick, I swear. <laughs> it's just science. Now she doesn't have her magic trick, so it's okay. Oh, oh I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to show them my petite VA, okay? <laughs> oh, boy, you have all the new awesome. magic trick now. Thank you. All That's right. Awesome. I'm going to stretch you while I start working on him. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. <laughs> There's no need to go into the lower back. Well, we don't have the flexibility yet. That's okay. Put the pillow and take it down. Okay. okay? And when you feel really brave, you bring your arms up over. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Not yeah. brave yet. Yeah. And then we lean into the curve. Really? We take the knees over. With my, okay. You understand? Yeah. And we're leaning into that curve. Okay. And we're forcing the curve right to left, lateral to medial. Gotcha. Don't go in the low back. I want to, though. Why? No. Why do I want to do that? that? Because that's where your pain is. Oh. But the, the, okay, you want to go to the, it's like a bug bite that you want to itch and you want to scratch. Mm-hmm. It's all swollen and inflamed. But how do you take the swelling and inflammation out of the low back? By getting the upper back moving.